<laughs> We're officially at that point where we eat in intervals and we only sleep for 40 minutes at a time and we climb all over mom because mama's still a jungle gym jungle gym jungle gym mama's still a jungle gym all day long <laughs> Happy December, everybody. I think the last time we spoke was in November for NaNoWriMo. Isn't that right? Let me just start off by saying that this is probably going to be my only vlog <laughs> this month and my final vlog of the year because we have four Christmases this month and it is just, it's just crazy. There's just a lot going on there's just not enough time for me to be filming and editing and all of that not to mention I just want to be able to be present for those Christmases instead of having having the camera out so it is Ivy's first Christmas so that's exciting today we are just going to be running around doing some errands because we've got some holiday shopping to do and also just grabbing some stuff for the holidays because my family actually arrives tomorrow. So that'll be our second Christmas. We already had one Christmas and now we're, <laughs> we're on the second, the second Christmas. So I've just gotta go grab a few things. Ivy just woke up from her nap. As you can tell, she has a lot of energy. So we're gonna go get in the car because she also just ate, sort of. Sort of, you didn't eat very much. You only ate like 40 milliliters, so. Not much, but that's okay. We'll bring your bottle. <laughs> so I'm gonna take you along, along with us to go do some holiday errands. Yeah, let's go. We got a fresh diaper. Wee! We go on a car ride? Ready to go. right around the corner I'm sure that gift shopping for your loved ones is in full swing which is why I am mentioning Anna Luisa's jewelry because it makes the perfect gift I've talked about their ash double hoop earrings in a past video and I've worn them in almost every single video ever since I got them because they are my favorite earrings of all time I kid you not I wear them every single day and that is because I find them so timeless so elegant and they go with everything I wear they're perfect for your everyday casual outfit but you can also wear them to dress up your holiday outfit hint hint even more my newest addition from their collection are these two beautiful bracelets. This one right here is the Danae soft box chain bracelet in gold and this one over here is the Soryaz or Soryaz, I hope I'm saying that right, paperclip bracelet also in gold which has these beautiful stones embedded in the center. I absolutely love stacking their bracelets because I feel like it adds that extra touch to anything I wear. Their jewelry is tarnish resistant and goes through rigorous strength and humidity testing plus they offer a a two-year warranty on all of their products and with prices starting at just $39 that's hard to beat so if you're looking to gift high quality affordable jewelry this season then make sure to use my link to get 30% off your order you can find that link in the description box below and a huge thank you to Anna Luisa for partnering with me on today's video mm -hmm. 
currently parked in a Lowe's parking lot because my Chipotle order is not ready yet. So driving through to grab that because it's 1245 and I have not had lunch. But I just stopped by Walmart to pick up our second elf on the shelf because we have the boy elf and we started the elf on the shelf tradition this year. So we got the girl elf. I originally ordered her on Amazon thinking she was gonna get here this week and then she was delayed until like December 20th. And if you do Elf on the Shelf or you know anything about it, the elves go back to the North Pole on Christmas Eve. So I was like December 20th is just cutting it a little bit too close. So I was searching the Walmarts around here and the Targets and all the stores to see who had it and I had to kind of go out of my way to a Walmart that I don't normally go to. But they had it so I did their pickup and got it so we'll be able to have our elves getting into mischief together this evening. We've got about five minutes until my Chipotle order is ready and then we are gonna go ahead and head on home because I think Miss Ivy is starting to get hungry or bored or something. We've been listening to Taylor Swift, all of the vault tracks from the 1989 album. I feel like that is the only thing that I listen to lately, but they're so good. I feel like it should be its own album. I don't know what it is about the vault tracks from the 1989 Taylor's version, album, record, whatever you want to call it, but they're so good and I can't stop listening to them. <laughs> time of filming this I'm about 60,000 a little over 60,000 words into writing the last book in the Shadowground series and let me just tell you I have such mixed feelings because on the one hand I am so like I don't use the word relieved but just you know, a six book series, that is no, that is no easy feat. So there's kind of this sense of relief that comes with writing the last book where you're like, I did it. I wrote, you know, five books and now I'm writing the sixth book and everything in it is cohesive and it makes sense. And like, I did it seven years of my life um, <laughs> in these books and it's almost complete. So there's this sense of relief, but there's also this overwhelming sadness where I did not think I could get so attached to the world that I've built and the characters that I have been writing for. Like the fact that this is the last time that I will be writing in each of their points of view is just it's I can't really wrap I can't really wrap my my head around it just yet while I'm so excited to finish this series because I have other projects that have been kind of waiting in the wings that are like half written or I have the first act written and I want to dedicate my time and my focus to those I feel like this will always be my this will always be my my baby, like my my book baby, you know, just that that one series that I poured so much of myself into because again, it's it's been like a seven year process to write this series, which is it's just crazy. So one of the things that I always do when I am writing the next book in a series is I will read the books that come before it, which means I am due for quite the hefty reread of all of the books in the Shadow Crown series. So I have the proof of Arcane Haven. It's actually in my bedroom right now. So that'll be my main focus for 2024, like the first quarter, first three months of 2024 is to do a reread of all the books in the Shadow Crown series. And that way I can just really make sure that there are no loose ends or there's not anything that I, because I started pantsing through, I would say probably like the third book from Jaded Spring on, I became more of a pantser. And so while the ending of the book and everything that's happened is, 
it's on the same trajectory and it stayed the same since when I first envisioned it. But of course there are things like my imagination went wild, right? And I added things in and subplots and all of that. So because I started pantsing from the third book on and I have detailed outlines and everything, I just wanna make sure that there is nothing that I have missed because once Arcane Haven is published and once the final book is published, like that's it, right? That's it. So I just, again, due diligence as an author doing a reread of all the books in your series, just in case there's something that I wrote down, I pantsed my way through and thought, oh yeah, this would really fit in great to the, you know, in the final book. And then didn't, didn't write that down, didn't put it into my outline. That's, I can definitely see myself <laughs> doing something like that. So I know Arcane Haven has not been released yet, but because this is my last video of 2023 and because we're talking about the Shadow Crown series, I want to go ahead and reveal the title of the sixth and final book, as well as do the cover reveal because that was one of my NaNoWriMo rewards and I have the cover and it's beautiful and I just, I want to reveal it. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So the sixth and final book, <laughs> oh my gosh, that's crazy to say, is called Midnight Rain and it's R-E-I-G-N, Midnight Rain. And here is the cover. As always, my cover designers just nailed it absolutely nailed it so i i love how all of the covers kind of have that that same theme you know with the the focal point there so yeah in an ideal world i would love to release the final two books books five and six sometime next year maybe like one in the spring one in the fall i don't know if that's going to happen with my life <laughs> with my schedule but in an ideal world that is that is what i would aim for and then 2024 would be the year that shadow crown is just completely wrapped up So that is going to conclude today's vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and click that thumbs up button as well as that subscribe button. Don't forget to check out the description box below for more information on Ana Luisa and click that link to get 30% off your order. I am wishing you the most amazing end to 2023 and the happiest, merriest, brightest start to 2024. I will see you in the new year. Bye.